Hey guys, welcome to The Daily Devo, I'm Brent. Today, we're talking about burning idols. One of the things that I love about God is that he has a radical love for you and I. And what's really special about God's love is that it's not a conditional love. It's an unconditional love. A love that regardless of what you and I say or do, he still loves us. But here's the thing. You and I have to be careful to not let anything get in the way of the love that we have for God. And that's exactly what the children of Israel did in Exodus chapter 32. Throughout the book of Exodus, we see how God has brought them out of slavery from Egypt. How he's performed miracles and, and provided for them in the wilderness. And all of a sudden, in chapter 32, despite God showing his love and faithfulness towards them, they suddenly turn away from God, creating a, a golden calf and, and making it a God and worshiping this idol. The people of Israel, they're, they're singing, they're dancing, they're making noise towards this golden calf as if it was the calf that set them free from bondage. So Moses, who's the pastor of these people, was, was in a prayer meeting with God on Mount Sinai. And in this meeting, God tells him to go back to the people because they've committed a great sin. And I want you to look at what happens in verses 19 through 20 of chapter 32 here in Exodus when Moses makes it back to the camp. Here's what it says. It says, when they came near the camp, Moses saw the calf and the dancing, and he burned with anger. He threw the stone tablets to the ground, smashing them at the foot of the mountain. He took the calf they had made and burned it. Then he ground it into powder and threw it into the water and forced the people to drink it. Now, here's the thing. If you and I aren't careful, we could become just like the children of Israel in this text. You see, we can have a season where we're so grateful to God and, and recognize all the things that he's done for us, but the moment something or someone else catches our attention, we start idolizing that thing or person. And the love and affection that we were giving to God, we now turned it towards something or someone else. If we're honest with ourselves, we know when we're far away from God. We know when we're not living right. And we know when we're not walking in obedience. You know, we even know when someone else is getting way too much of our attention or pulling us away from God. And here's what I want to encourage you to do. Burn the idols in your life. Get rid of the people or things that's hindering you from growing in Christ. God's love for you is not based on what you've said. It's not based on what you've done or who you are. His love for you is based on the fact that he's God, a God that is love. My hope for you and for me is that we would burn the idols that keep us from loving him back.